Welcome everybody. We got another DFW info video for you. Now this one will be good whether you're moving to the area, moving within the area, or just kind of exploring the Metroplex. So I've got Leah Littenberg with us and she is in our Fort Worth office as well as a generally fun and social adventurer. So she's got some good intel for us. Now here's what we're going to talk about today. We'll cover a lot of different things, but we are going to really focus on some of the awesome resorts uh, to visit or uh, explore in Grapevine, right? So if you're thinking about a move to the Fort Worth area, this is really kind of part of the playground. This is not very far. Um, it's a little bit of a drive, but not quite, uh, not quite as much as it is from most of the Dallas side. It's kind of a central, slightly northwest of the airport kind of deal, uh, just a little bit easier drive and commute from the Fort Worth side. But um, because of what we're gonna talk about, and I'll just, I'll just kind of get to it, we're gonna talk about Great Wolf Lodge, which is a really cool place to visit, as well as the Gaylord Texan. So the Gaylord hotels have hotels all over the country, one of the most popular being Gaylord Opryland in Nashville. But they're, they're really unique. We'll talk more about them in a second and why you might want to live near one or just visit one. But um, kind of the draw they are even for locals. So uh, I'll kick it over to you, Leah, if you just want to kind of want to say hey or whatever you want to do on intros. And then just your general off the top of your head, you know, thoughts about uh, those two. And then we'll expand from there. Yeah, definitely. So as you said, Todd, I am a Fort Worth home buyer specialist. So I help buyers on the Fort Worth side of things. Um, I have actually been to both Great Wolf Lodge and uh, Gaylord Texan. My parents, we did a little staycation per se. Yep. It was actually a while ago when I was still at TCU. And so they were coming up from Austin and we did it over Thanksgiving. So yep. I would suggest going to the Gaylord during the holidays because they do have some really fun lights and Christmas events. I think we went, it was the Grinch. And so you go in and they have a bunch of decorations and there's a little slide, like an ice slide that you go on. It's freezing. You have to wear these big old coats. Yep. Um, so that was really fun. And that was a, a good attractor. And then we also, in that same trip, did the Great Wolf Lodge. I was probably a little bit old for it, but I think right. for younger kids, um, you know, it's a really fun place to get, get away, get out of the sun. Cause I think most of it's inside, if not all of it's inside, um, as a water park and you know, you can hang out there all day. Yeah. So Very to fun. give some overarching things, okay. Great Wolf Lodge is a massive resort family oriented resort property right now. It's an indoor outdoor water park, right? So there's a significant amount of it that's indoor with massive full size water slides, wave pool, kids area, all that stuff. Kids, you know, concession stand, all that. There's also arcades and all this stuff. Outside is like zip line water stuff and water slides and, and pool and hot tubs and all this stuff. So it's indoor outdoor. So a lot of people go there during the winter and that's one of the big pulls for locals. Um, it's also a great, you know, great place to stay if you're visiting Dallas. It happens to be situated in an area near, you know, a massive mall, right by the airport, near some good food, and a fairly easy commute to a couple of lakes, to uh, a lot of the professional sports in Arlington. Uh, and there's a kind of a lot going on within a 30, 35 minute, you know, perimeter of there. Uh, we've done a lot of videos on Grapevine and that's, that's where it is. But Grapevine gets its name from the grapevines. There's kind of a wine culture there. There's wineries on Main Street and there are some vineyards Great outside grapevine. of town. Yeah. Late Grapevine is right there. There's all kinds of boating. Now, the Gaylord Texan is similar but different. It's not as, you know, themed off of water park. But they actually recently built an outdoor water park for their guests only. And so we did a staycation last summer or the summer before at the Gaylord Texan and and they shuttle you down the road on still on their property to the little water park and it's private and it's awesome. We've also been there during the Christmas holidays for what you talked about, the ice sculptures yeah. and slides. And then the year we went, it was Smurf themed and there's all kinds of, you know, Christmas Smurf stuff and they have trains and, to, you know, uh, massive train setups. I mean, like the, the atrium of Gaylord Texan is kind of what they're known for. At the one here in Grapevine, it's themed after the San Antonio Riverwalk, and there's just like all kinds of stuff. So when I say train setup, you're talking about like, I don't know, a mile plus of miniature train sets and multiple different settings and all that. So 
to, again, those are some specifics and we can get into more, but to back away, if you were thinking about moving here, those are really cool attractions kind of to live near. You know, you can go to the water park, you can go visit the atrium. The Gaylord Texan has some high end, really nice restaurants and shops in there. Uh, Great Wolf Lodge is a little bit more family oriented, playful, but they've got some other stuff, cool stuff going too. So when you're not at the water park, they've got kind of this treasure quest, um, like wave your magic wand and get clues and run around in the stairwells and find things and scavenger hunt kind of deal. So there's a lot going on there. What, what do you think if someone was moving to the area, Leah, why might they be drawn to, or how might they use, um, you know, either of these facilities? Sure. Yeah. I think, um, like we said, you can come check. I think it would be good to come check it out and stay there while you're discovering DFW and figuring out where you want to live. I think you can also, you know, use this as a draw for people coming out of town. So if you had family or friends coming out of town and they wanted to stay elsewhere, you could go there again, staycation, um, entertaining. If you wanted to do any family, um, get togethers or, like private events, you can do it there as well. I know when we went, there was a, um, I think it was Thanksgiving, like a big brunch. So again, just doing some more holiday type stuff um, is a big draw as well. Yep. We've had family visit us, just like you were talking about. They stayed there. We met them there. Mm -hmm. So it, it was just a central gathering place because you fly into DFW airport and you can be at either of these places in, I'd say 10 minutes, but traffic yep. is crazy, but it's like two miles from the airport. It's right there. And then right near there is also um, Grapevine Mills Mall, yep. which has a bunch of other cool stuff. It's got a Legoland attraction. It's got, you know, all sorts of entertainment, food, shopping, et cetera. Um, there is um, on Lake Grapevine right by the Gaylord. And I don't actually don't know if they're affiliated, but there's a really cool kind of, I say nightclub, but kind of music venue entertainment deal. I think it's Glass Cactus is what it's called, I think. Um, and it overlooks the lake. And from the Gaylord, you can rent a boat. You can do all sorts of stuff and go out onto the lake. So, And they're across the street from each other, if we haven't been clear about that. I mean, they are just like right there across the street from each other, right around the corner from downtown Grapevine, which we've done whole videos on downtown Grapevine as well as Grapevine as a whole. But again, there's wineries and all sorts of things you can venture out from these two facilities to check out. More often than not, once you're at one of these facilities, you don't need to go anywhere. It's, it's, it's all there. Um, but really cool. Back to Great Wolf Lodge, they have all sorts of kids programming and entertainment stuff, right? So they've got uh, shows in the evening with kind of mascots and all that kind of stuff going on. So, you know, there really are both super family friendly the Gaylord leans a little bit more. You could enjoy it with a non-family setup, especially with, you know, high-end steakhouses and Italian restaurants and things built in there. But um, I, would, I would tell someone, if you're thinking about visiting DFW, that would be a cool place to stay, to then go explore different communities within DFW. It's also just a great vacation destination. Okay. But if you're thinking about a move to the area and you want to be near excitement and energy and activity, living near there would be, you know, a great place, whether that's in Grapevine or in one of those communities right around there. What other, what other thoughts have you, you know, has, when has it come up with a buyer of yours or as a suggestion to a potential buyer of yours where those two might be worthy of, of bringing up or, or mentioning? Sure. No, I, I mean, I think we've touched on a lot of it. I think there's a big draw. A lot of people really like that North Fort Worth kind of mid cities area per se, you know, by the airports, um, those, those communities up there are really well known for being very family friendly, good schools, you know, just that community draw. Um, and there people are flocking there. There's a lot of businesses moving up there as well. So I think there's definitely a lot of growth in that North, um, DFW area. Right. And, and again, if you're thinking about it, pull it up on a map real quick. And it's a straight shot south to get pretty much to all of the professional sports going on in Arlington, right? You got the yeah. Texas Rangers, Dallas Cowboys, plus, a, you know, a, a significant entertainment hub down there as far as nightlife. Then you've got Six Flags right there. And like we already said, right near those two facilities, there's some other cool stuff. So um, you're not far from a lot, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and also if you had someone working in Dallas and, and the other person working in the Fort Worth area, you know, because it's in, in the mid cities per se, commute time is going to be 
easy for both of you. Yeah, so it, it it's not normal that we, you know, most of what we talk about is real estate oriented, buying or selling. And we're talking about two, basically hotels, right? Two resorts. Mm -hmm. The reason we thought it would be valuable for you and, and, and many of you watching this will be considering a move either to the Dallas-Fort Worth area or within, you know, from one part to another part of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But these are, these are kind of community anchors, right? They, they're starting to be, you know, they really have been for a while, a, a defining feature of that Grapevine, North Fort Worth, Northeast kind of, kind of corridor, airport area. Uh, there's a few other things we haven't mentioned, like this massive Bass Pro Shops over there and you know, some other cool stuff going on. But the reason it was worth a video is if you're thinking about a move to the area, you might want to stay there and explore. But it's also something, you know, strongly just to consider as a, a really cool feature of that mid-cities, north central part of the Metroplex. So check that out. Definitely check out other videos on our channel. Leah has joined me for quite a few of the videos on the Fort Worth side of the Metroplex. Uh, we've also done videos on Grapevine and, you know, cities all around here. And then, of course, pretty much everything in the entire Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. We've got... Uh, d videos highlighting downtown areas. We've got videos highlighting uh, cities and schools and out of town areas and acreage property and entertainment centers and all sorts of stuff. So check those out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think this would be helpful for somebody, share it with them and then subscribe to our channel and we'll keep making videos that will hopefully be informative and helpful for you as you consider a move or just inquiring about the area. Click that little bell and every time we make a video, it'll let you know we did. You don't have to watch them all. But if the topic uh, makes sense for you, that'll make it a little bit easier for you to get some more info about the area. Of course, if we could ever help you buy or sell, if you're looking on the Fort Worth side, Leah or one of our other great team members would be happy to help you. And then we've got an office on the Dallas side as well. And we'd be here to help. Below this video are plenty of our links and phone numbers and all that good stuff. But you can always find us online at overunderagent.com. That's overunderagent.com, and we will talk to you on the next one. Take care.